Recently, we've been referencing the new normal, the new weather you'll have to deal with as the climate continues to change. But it's hard to put your finger on what that actually means to you. So let's go through an example. And we're going to look at the Midwest and specifically look at Illinois, the state of Illinois, and how the climate will change as CO2 continues to rise in the atmosphere. And we're going to go through two scenarios. And the first one is kind of an optimistic view that halfway through the century, we put on a lot of regulation and we limit our production and it starts to go down in the atmosphere. And even then, by the mid century, Illinois feels like Tennessee Valley. And by the end of the century in this scenario feels very much like what Louisiana feels like today. And that's the optimistic view, right? What happens if we keep on chugging along with CO2? Well, uh, Illinois will feel more like the Arklatec area by the mid century in that scenario, or by the end of the century, central or southern Texas. Yeah, that's a lot of heat. So speaking of heat, the heat waves will change as well. These are the number of heat waves that we've already seen from 1970 to 1999 across the Midwest. And these are the extreme heat waves, the killer heat waves. And under the lower emission scenario, this climbs to about 20. And under the higher emission scenario, it is almost off the chart. Check it out, going all the way close to 80 or so of those extreme killer heat waves. And that's not something that anybody really wants to deal with. And finally, we're looking at the lake water levels. These are the Great Lakes, and this is the water levels that we've already observed. But doing some modeling to show you how these will change does not give a very optimistic view under the uh, projected CO2 levels. Instead, you lose a lot of that water because of the higher heat and thus more evaporation. So a fresh water source dwindling. The new normal might not be one that the Midwest wants to deal with every day.